This is Things I Wish I Knew after getting diagnosed with ADHD part 1 to 20. I wish I would have known anything more than it causes bad memory and focus. Cover what I wish I knew, but first make sure you hit that follow button or someone you know has ADHD. I make new content daily. I wish I would have known that ADHD would prolificate through my life like a wildfire, consuming every interaction, every reaction, every fear, and security. Somehow be tied back to ADHD. I wish somebody would have told me about RSD, rejection sensitivity dysphoria, which is where rejection, criticism, constructive criticism, or even imagine criticism be more painful to us than most people. You get angry or sad quickly when you think someone is rejecting you. For instance, my girlfriend will bring up something I did that she didn't like. She'll feel like she's saying I'm the biggest piece of crap in the world. And really, she's just saying you're a great guy, but this one little thing that you can change easily bothers me. I stop listening to logic and just feed off my own emotions. I wish somebody would have told me it's okay that you can't control your emotions sometimes. It's part of ADHD. It's called emotional dysregulation. Sometimes our emotions don't fit into a box. Sometimes Something sad happens and you can't cry, or your emotions will change quick. You can have the best day ever one minute and the next minute it's ruined because someone triggered your RSD. I wish somebody would have told me that I'm not alone. Millions of people struggle like I did. I've learned to accept who I am and that I'm not just some imposter, that I really have ADHD. I really nailed it home when I scored high on an online ADHD test like the one in my bio. If you need more help, join my group ADHD Unite and Conquer. It'll be in the comment section below. Thanks for watching to the end.